For this first shot, I used the Forza FS300 and it's attached to the Godox SA17 projector attachment. So I beamed that light through the leaves almost acting as a gobo, creating interesting patterns and shadows on the backdrop. I added two GVM LED lights on each side to add that pop of color. The key to getting those sharp shadows on the backdrop is by using a harsh light source. And by placing the light almost straight on, I wasn't getting any ugly, unflattering shadows that you would usually get using harsh lighting. Here I boomed a 47 inch Octa over her head and I used the Godox projector to create a halo of light behind her body. Since the light was coming from above, I was getting those raccoon eyes where the eyes are dark. So I used the modeling light on my Westcott FJ400 strobe in a strip box to add a little bit of fill in her eyes. You always want to make sure that the eyes are being lit. Have you seen this C-stand that Savage Universal makes? It's the first time I've seen it. And it has a leg extension where you can mount another flash at the bottom, allowing you to fill in the shadows, like some similar to what a reflector would do. Now I prefer this over a reflector because it gives you more control over that lighting. This setup right here is one of those reliable bread and butter setups that you can rely on whenever you need beautiful, even lighting. 